Hi, I'm Sarah Kernan, a scholar in residence at the Newberry Library, and today I want to introduce you to this text here, Richard Ligon's A True and Exact History of the Island of Barbados. Richard Ligon was a royalist who lost his fortune uh, during the English Civil War, so he left England in 1647 for Barbados to regain his fortune in the Caribbean sugar industry. He worked as a plantation manager on the island for about three years and returned to England due to illness, but he was imprisoned by his creditors soon thereafter. So while in prison, he spent his time authoring this book, an account of his time. And this ends up being a very important early account of the Caribbean and Barbados and was reprinted in 1673. So this book contains not only his textual recollections, but also various images, um, different plants that were on the island, things like pineapple, but uh, also diagrams of sugar processing equipment and facilities. Um, and there is also a map, which I'll show you in a moment. But this was a, a very important uh, description of the rise in sugar growing, the rise of the plantation economy, and uh, the reliance at the time on forced labor of enslaved people. And this is the map I referenced. Uh, this is the earliest known map focused exclusively on Barbados. We have individual plantations indicated all along the coastline uh, with the plantation owners listed as well. Uh, you can see from the geography indicated here that uh, the interior of the island was uh, inaccessible and uh, not good for growing sugar. Um, however, we have a couple notable images on here. We have things like camels. Um, camels were actually on Barbados at the time. Ligon notes in his book that camels were imported by planters, but few survived as few knew how to diet them. Um, we have some mountains indicated on here, some wild animals, um, and we also have runaway slaves uh, being chased indicated here. 